Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a video actually downloading. I am going to do a little review on this IBD gel. And what it is, it's a gel glue. Because I know a lot of people, they're doing like the lazy girl nails. And what you do is you just take some um, tips and like some already kind of like press on tips. And what they do is they just put their gel and they hold it in the light so now they started making gel glue and so I'm going to do a review on that and then after I glue I just have this holding this here because you got to kind of hold it while it and then we got our little um what's it called Moroccan ring here I love Moroccan jewelry but um so I'm just going to take this tip and what I'm going to do is, oh, actually what you have to do, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a, I'm just going to file it a little bit so it has something to stick to. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a base gel because I believe it has to have a sticky, um, a sticky or a tacky like thing, kind of like poly gel to stick to. So I'm going to cure that in there for 30 seconds. And then after that, I have some of these like little hearts here. I mean, it came with a whole bunch of stuff like uh, Christmas trees, stars, flowers, some other little like holographic like hearts where the middles are cut out, some polka dots, some, um, I guess some of these other ones got in here or those ones. But we got some uh, snowflakes, but today I'm just going to use these hearts. Maybe I'll use a couple of these. I do have a big old thing of these, but these were like some of the extras I had, and these are actually just the heart ones I had grabbed out, and they're just in these little, and some of them are just like solid hearts, some are like cutouts, but I think I'm just going to use this one for today. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some Mia Secret Monomer and some Model 1's acrylic because that likes to stay wet a little bit. And I want to be able to move around my hearts and stuff. So, so now that's nice and dry or tacky. It's cured. That's what I want to say. <laughs> it's cured. So I'm just going to put a little bit on this tip here. And then... I'm going to put some here. Now, I've never really, like, done this um, system before. I always just use glue with doing my own tips. Thing is, you got to kind of hold it while it's in the lamp for it to, it to like, adhere. So it's kind of hard because you can't, like, you see... So what I do is, hold on, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to use two hands or I'm going to have to turn my thing over. Let's see. Uh-oh. Already having issues here. It's kind of hard when you're doing it like that, but... Give me a couple seconds, and then let's see how well it, like, really adheres to the, and I probably needed maybe just a little bit more. Let me, I'm going to put a little bit more base at the tip because I kind of filed it off. Now, I did adhere that tip to my finger, my silicone finger, but when I did it, I held it for a minute in the lamp, and then I clipped this on it. 
to hold the nail in place. Oh, I'm sorry. I used this. And that actually worked. But for some reason, this is just for some, I don't know, just a little harder trying to get this tip right here and right now. Okay, see, now, whoop, it's a little crooked, damn. But it's starting to stick, so. Even though I put it on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to fix this and... Okay, so I filed in there a little bit because it was getting a little, because it dried when I, I had it on there crooked. But if it wouldn't have been crooked, I would have been able to put the clip on and bam, it would have been done. But why would I think anything would be easy when trying to make a video? It must be crazy. Okay, so it's stuck on there, and it looks like crap because, um, obviously, I took it on a hundred times. So I'm going to stick that on there, and I'm just going to keep it in the lamp for now, 60 seconds, to make sure it's fully cured. And then I'm just going to file it a little bit. I hope this comes out because I, like, butchered my poor finger here. <clears throat> I didn't have this hard of a time, I promise you, when I did it the first time on the nail. I mean, not on the nail, on the finger. So, look at that. I mean, it's on there. I've got a crap load of glue on the bottom of it. But, it worked. So what I'm going to do here is, before I get started, give me one moment and I'll be right back. Okay, now what I'm just going to do real quick is try to shape them up a little bit. Hopefully I don't mess them up trying to do them on here. My finger's already looking a little crooked here. I am not too used to working on this um, silicone finger. I usually just use my tip display or my own hands. So, excuse it. I want to try to get better though, get a whole hand and then start like doing tips and stuff like that okay so the glue worked really good. The IVD gel. My finger kind of looks like it's going like... Oops, sorry. Kind of looks like it's going like this. But just excuse that. Um, besides that, it all stuck really nicely on. And yeah, it's on there. Like, <laughs> once I got, you know, once I got it to stick a little bit, which, if it's on your nail, you could kind of do this and go in the lamp and, like, hold it. Then once it's sticking just, just a little bit, you could either put one of these, like, clips on and then kind of just wait for it to cure and you could turn it upside down. Or you can, um... Or you could just, I guess, just keep holding it in the lamp. But, um... So you feel like it's secured and so now what I'm going to do is I wanted to do like a marble white and pink but I did not realize that I was completely out of white acrylic so it looks like I'm just gonna have to do a clear 
and do um, an encapsulation with the clear and just have the little uh, sequins shining through. So let me get my little jar here for my monomer. And I have a brush right here. So I was trying to see if something worked earlier to see if, um, so I was cleaning my brush up a little bit. Um, and actually while we're at it, I could try to use my new, I did try it once already. This is my size 16. That AliExpress brush I had in the size 10, I finally got my 16 in. So... And it doesn't look that huge. So that's kind of good because I don't want it to be like overly excessively huge. I like it big but not like crazy, crazy, crazy big. So let me clean out this old... Here, let me just grab a piece of this napkin right here. Clean out all this gunky old monomer I have in here. And oh, where am I going to set this? I moved my garbage to my little garbage can. Okay. So I had to empty it. Let's see. Where is my monomer? Here it is. So I'm just going to put some monomer in here. I can always put more if I need more. And then I'm going to open up these little things here. So I'm just going to want to do these hearts. Maybe I'll put some like, I don't know. Let me see. Is that cellophane over it? And you can pull these whole things off and kind of take the whole cellophane off. I don't really like doing that. Because then they all start to like kind of bleed into each other. So what I'm going to do here is just. Um, so let me just. I'm going to scoop some of these up. Some of these hearts. I'm over here spilling the monomer. That's great. Waste your monomer. Okay, am I even in focus? Yeah, I'm in focus here, but I don't know how well you guys can see everything. I don't really care how the hearts are going on. I just kind of just sticking them on there. I just figured I'd show you guys these hearts while I was doing the glue review. Like, why not? Okay, I'm going to put another little. Now, I'm not a big encapsulation person. I'm not a big, like... I 
I haven't done nails like I worked in a couple of salons and it has been a long time since I have done that when I started doing nails we didn't do all this because it was like the early 2000s uh, late 90s so this is all like new stuff No stamping plates back then. None of that. Everything you did was like by hand. They didn't have all these colored acrylics like they do now. They just have so much more now. It's crazy. Oh, why am I all the way over here? So anyway, here, I just placed a bunch of old hearts and like stars and stuff on there. I'm going to let that dry just a little bit before I place my uh, bead overneath the top of it. And then all I'm going to do is uh, file it. Why do you keep going out to focus on me? Okay, so I got my bead. And now, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to go over all of these um, pretty hearts and <clears throat> stars and stuff. Then we will did one of those come off? I don't know. We will file it. And then do the magic of putting the... Um, I feel like this is in the way so my hand can't be here. Put the magic of putting on the... Um, after you file it, putting on the top coat. I like to hold my hand down because then gravity just takes place, kind of just falls into place, even though that was kind of a dry bead there. Maybe I didn't have enough monomer on my brush. There we go. Then you just kind of pat it and let it go where it needs. Oh, sorry, you guys. I pulled it down to be closer so you guys could see. Put it in place. I'm going to put another little one right here because, I don't know, it feels like there's a little, little bit of a gap there, an indent there.
Okay. So, so far, so good. The gel work, these cute little hearts and stars and stuff around there. I'm just going to wait for that now. Because model one is a little bit cheaper. It is kind of a beginner one. I don't have no problem with it. I kind of like it. And sometimes I do like it because it dries slower. So you're able to put like your, you have time to make like a night, you know, do like almost the whole nail and have time to put all your like little things you want to encapsulate onto your nail. So I always think that's good, especially if you want to like do stuff like that. But what did I do with my lid? Here it is. I put it back here. So now I'm just going to wait for that to dry. And once it does, I will file it. And yeah, like I said, that's when you get to see the magic. I love putting the top coat over um, encapsulated things, like when they're clear or whatever. Because then it's like all the beauty comes with the things that you um, encapsulated. And like it all shines through. So let this dry and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back and let's see here. Looks pretty, um, seems pretty, sounds pretty loud I should say to me. So... I'm just going to file this up now. Okay, so now that it's filed, I'm just going to go in with my buffer so I could take some of these like little scratches off so you won't see them hopefully and the, when you put the clear on. That one's kind of going like a little bit, so let me just, let me grab my little bit. I don't know why I grabbed my old one. But for some reason, that one was like a little... I was going to throw it out, but I noticed I got this one, and those were a little bit rougher. I don't know. Maybe I got like a less... Um, I could have swore I bought the same exact one, same exact grit. But they're not as like... I don't know. They're just not the same. So, let me grab my like brush here. And here is the nail. You can still see a little bit of the file, but whatever. It is what it is. I'm going to put on some top coat and then cure it, obviously. And then um, let's see how it comes out. Now you could still see some of that glue on, oh, uh-oh, I didn't get underneath it with the brush. There we go. Now a little bit of it, and I just touched it. What is going on? Come on. I got a little bit under here, like as you see. I was having a hard time when it was holding it on, but it's all trial and error. So I'm going to stick a little bit of top coat underneath here. Maybe that will help a little bit. I have to work with the glue a little bit, but honestly, it does work. So that was just one of the big things I wanted to try. And, um... Let's cure it, but here's how it looks. Homegirl's going to need some cuticle on her finger here. Looking a little dusty around the cuticle there. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm going to put my coffee cup there. Let me hold it. Because it just wants to flip over. And we ain't having it. Okay. So here is how my heart nail came out. 
I told you, homegirl needs some cuticle oil. <laughs> I know I'm being stupid, but shoot, it can't hurt. <laughs> it is looking dusty up here. That oil just takes all that dustiness away. So, yeah. But any, any, any ways, anywho, I did get some of the gel, like I said, right there underneath. But regardless, it is on there. It is not breaking off. That IBD gel worked really good. I just need to learn, like, you got to get it to hold it. Maybe when it's on your nail, it's like a little hard doing it on this. But, and these little hearts came out so pretty. <clears throat> I wish I had like a pink, you know. I wish I had my white. Actually, I do have pink. I just don't have my white. I wish I had white so I could have marbled like a pink and white acrylic on here. Then you wouldn't have seen that so much right there. That's what's really bothering me. Maybe I should have did like a tip underneath it. Like right here drew like red or something and then did all the hearts up here or just on the red did like pink hearts regardless i still like it i think it's still really pretty um so i do recommend <clears throat> actually this finger came from aliexpress too um i didn't know i didn't know if i want to spend a hundred dollars on like a red iguana or you know so I got this. This was like $20 on AliExpress. Yes, they are very expensive. For one finger, it's like, yeah, like I said, 20 bucks. But I didn't want, I'd rather spend 20 and see if I like it. If I'm even going to use it and spend 100 Um, And it does work for when I just want to show you like one thing like this. Um, but this IBD gel glue works great. So if you want to put on like your fake tips, as you would call them, press on nails, um, you could just put some of the glue, hold it under your lamp, flip your <clears throat> lamp over like upside down. You could do one of these and like hold it. Then once it's kind of stuck, if you have like a clip or even like a chip clip, you could hold it on there and then really get in there. What is under my nails? I'm going to have to grab my e-file and that's what happens when you make your kids food and cook dinner and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I do recommend it and I think these little hearts were really pretty too. So I'll leave everything down in the description below. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up or subscribe. Have a beautiful, blessed, and safe rest of your day, and I hope to see you guys come back real soon. Let me know what you guys think, or if you have guys used like this or something similar, or you just use a regular gel, because I know some people are just using like a regular, regular gel. And this is, it says gel glue when you buy it, but on here it just says gel polish, so I don't know. Must be applied over gel foundation or a structured gel. So, yeah, you do have to put it over a gel polish or a structured gel. But, again, thank you guys for watching and have a beautiful, blessed, and safe rest of your day and the rest of your week. Bye.